So we're going to be playing 13 Dead End Drive. You've yep. never played this, have you? Man? Nope, I haven't. It's a classic to me. And you can see we have a nice uh, brand new set here, so we're not missing any pieces. Hopefully. Hopefully. And that's we messed up already. Oh, uh, you want a beer? Sure. So one thing that's always fun about this game, like, the characters are very, very weird. Um, What's the original year on the game, do you know? When did it come out? I want to say, like, late 80s, maybe early 90s. So this it, is the, tw has, like, this is the 25 years, so whenever this was made, did that 25 years. Mm, okay. I think this might be 2019. Okay, so fairly recent. Yeah, I want to say it was, like, a... I was definitely over. It has like it has like YouTube tags and stuff. It has like social. It's, it has yeah. social media tags. And this so. is the newer one, obviously. This is like the this is the twenty fifth year anniversary edition or something like that. Because of course there's a yeah twenty nine. There's a black cat with dreadlocks in the back. They didn't have that in the original. Yeah, ones. Well. that was not that was not PC. <laughs> it wasn't PC to have a black person. And then the back in back in the nineties, it wasn't. That was tokenism back then. Oh yes. <laughs> Shall we? You shall. Yeah, because no one's actually related to the... To, we're trying to win this woman's money. That's the objective of the game. So, like, literally none of them are related. They're none of them are related, related, so that's part so of... So, it's like, it's... it's, it's her part of story. aunt is just, like, a title, then, that doesn't necessarily... No, she, she's an aunt of someone, but I guess that's just sort of a nickname. So are most women... Well, I would, I would hope so, like, but at the same time, but there's no living relatives, so that's kind of the premise that ties into the, the game, is that no one's actually blood-related. But that's partially because she has no heirs, and so all her friends have this opportunity to sort of take the money. And it's how do you judge that? Well, clearly because she would have a giant portrait of you above her fireplace, and if that's what the detective sees, that's his assumption because he's a detective and it's detective reason. So it's like, well, clearly she loved this person the most. So that's kind of the that's kind of the point. This guy looks like a guy that would know that. It's a, it's a good dick there for it's you. Good dick. Good it's classic a, black dick. Good classic classic black and white dick. Yeah. So I guess we'll uh, get to... we got to definitely... Oh, yeah, so we get this just together. So... This one's... Do you want to be the reader of how we do this, or do you want to be the operator? Uh, I'll be the that's, operator. I'm, I'm mechanically inclined. Right. Hand me that booklet of paper, because I can't move. <laughs> I really can't. No, I mean, I can't. I'm just, you're the operator. So we get all the uh, brown pieces over here. Get them segregated. Yes, you got to keep them segregated. Got to keep them segregated. Whatever happened to the offspring? I was going to say Fred Durst. <laughs> yeah. Unrelated question. Fred Durst would like to know. Well, that. I still think I, I'm not gonna lie. I still like to tell people like, why do you do what you do? And I say I do it all for the nookie. <laughs> oh, which one of these is mine? Um, the one that doesn't smell like tobacco and shit. Yeah. Sniff the room. Oh, I got the AIDS now. <laughs> Good. Now I'm immune. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah, I normally do that. I normally mine do is, that. Mine is the twisted top. I don't use the plug mix. Yeah, it didn't spell it. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it just tilted over. Cool. Here, let's do this. Let's do more about this. Let's be adults. Let's be adults, though. And not do what we did as children and spill plug mix properly. British children, specifically. Well, yeah. <laughs> How old do you have to drink in Britain? I think it's 18, maybe. Unless you're in Ireland. If you survive. Yeah, if you exactly. survive. If you, can, if you can, yeah, if you just survive birth. <laughs> so these are the character cards, presumably. Yeah. Or, I they say so. 13 Dead and Drive, so those are the portrait cards, maybe. So. These are, these ones have the, uh, the chalk outline on the back of them, so I'm not sure what those are. Well, we will find out. All right, step one: we're gonna need walls. And he's got the spooky, spooky house on the back of them. Walls? We need walls. Oh, so we need to start here. with framing, just like we're building a real thing. Yeah, carefully fold the center wall along its scored lines. We need to find the central wall. 
Let's uh, set the let's uh, lay the board. I think this is missing too. So let's do this. Let's clear. Let's clear off some spots. The spots, you know. And we'll do this. We can do this. We are the tech. No, we we have the technology. We are. No, I was gonna say we are the technology. No, we have the technology. We are the titan. He's the mighty mighty. I wish I was a titan. I mean, not the football player, because that'd be gay. I mean, like, uh, what do you call it? An actual, like, god, yeah. of, god of gods. <laughs> yeah, a god of gods. It's like, like, Kronos, man. Kronos. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't say that anymore. <laughs> Demo- Demo- Demonetize. Yeah, right. <laughs> can't, do Kro- can't do Kronos jokes anymore. Sorry, Damn God of War I franchise. Do. You're going to cripple my $30 a month income from YouTube. Nope, can't say juice to you. Can't say juice to you. Gonna have to edit that. Edit that. Trademarked, Andy. <laughs> not to be, not, not to have any offense against our Hasidic brethren. Our Hasidic brethren. Not to be confused with our acidic brethren. <laughs> All right. Which happened is supposed to be topsoil. Right. I think we've got the. Uh, that should be it. I think I'm trying to get it so we can have kind of a full board and frame, but I'm a little bit fucking retarded. Oh, so. you're okay. You're good. You just, that's the only thing is that you can't do it on the space. Oh, yeah, okay. So maybe the edges. Yeah, so that kind of stick. That should be fine. Okay. Is that crimping? Maybe. No, it's just like a. Maybe you do it fully. Yeah, there we go. So it's not off the carpet. You can still see it. Might need to set up differently, too. Is this the is this the center wall? I want to I want to say so. This seems like where the portrait yeah, goes, right? So that is gonna go turned around. Yeah, and we should we should rotate the board one eighty right now too. I hate to say it. Oh, you know what? I, there's they actually have a picture on the front that also shows us where that it, that, that yes is in fact the fucking <laughs> what we want it to be or hope it to be. Very nice. The center wall. Roll them bones! Because it's about death! And that's also the name of my channel! Hey! This, this, could, this could work out better than we think for board games. Don't be optimistic <laughs> now on me, you bastard! <laughs> oh, we are missing a couple things though. So I need to open up a bag. Alright, so we want stuff that's like black and red and has a little crap. You see any of those? Uh, you know, there's there's some square. Okay, I can't hear you. You need to speak up. <laughs> there's some square thi- looking things. Okay, well we need something that's that, but that's right, that, but not, <laughs> but not quite that. It is, we don't want corners. Corners okay. are the enemy. Well, not corners, but I mean cor- like angles or. So I think it's one of these or those, possibly that. Possibly. So we have that, those, these, and them. We don't want them for these, but we want those. Those might be them too. Excellent logic. Got it. We yeah, should probably let's put in all good. of our bottom side clips. Okay. It looks like uh, how many of those big ones you have? Four. Uh, mm. If it's if you have four, then you're gonna want to put them all on here. You're gonna have one here, one here, one here, one here. This step two requires adult supervision. <laughs> no, it's uh. The only reason it's not easy is because I have the camera stand on there right now. And I'm a bit retarded. Well, whose fault is that? My friends. Society's. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely my parents' fault for being retarded. No, no two ways about that. It's just an edit. What are you talking about? <laughs> you know what you <laughs> Not retarded enough to well, get money. Everyone's on the spectrum now. It is. It's the hippest thing. It's like eating kale and being part of a goddamn JV softball team or something. By the way, female softball is the most sexually appropriate sport ever. Is it? I mean, other than fucking all all liquid fucking lacrosse. I don't know. All liquid lacrosse? All you mean pol- water polo? No. <laughs> No, I mean, like, whatever the hell you want to call it, like, pan- pansexual, I think that's what the Greeks, pan- the <laughs> Greeks and millennials call themselves, yeah. pansexuals. Pansexual. No, I'm serious, they it's like, like this isn't clever. 
they're 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 sexually turned on by bread. I mean, because no, I, okay. I'm kind of when was the last time you heard of pansexuals? Either 340 BC or last Thursday at a bar with a guy with a man bun serving a latte. Well, I mean, yeah. Either way, they're both at the end of like the fall of an, or like right before the fall of an empire. So, empire strikes back. Triple on Sunday. Jesus. We're going to need more beer in the world. Dude. So I have to work tomorrow. Mm. Like nice and early? Yeah, we'll be, we'll be fine. What time, time. What time is it? Nine, oh, it's this? Yeah. Ten. Ten. Night, it's not a nice job. So. 11 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 7.15. So, that's not too bad. That's good. Yeah, we'll be fine. And you want to pop out that little cross. Huh. And then this one's going to go on this side. It's not quite a... It's kind of a chubby Jesus cross. Well, <laughs> Extra thick Jesus. Jesus wasn't thin. That's a... Uh, yeah. Well, why would you think he was? It never says anything about his image. He could have been a really fat dude. This is why he what walked on he water. This is why he walked on water. He had buoyancy. Like a seal. Imagine how that would change Christianity if Jesus was a seal. Or if it was just when your time in the lake was frozen. <laughs> and they're all on mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> this, all took, this all took place. In which, I, which I maintain was the case more more times than not. <laughs> all took place in not yet discovered. Jesus and his hippie friends <laughs> tripping on mushrooms. Yeah, he been in like Afghanistan, <laughs> somewhere in Mexico City. <laughs> All right, what's next? We have a we have a lovely backdrop going already. Yeah, so that is it. step one. Now we're going to want to do the stairs. Don't be hysterical. Don't be hysterical. Andy, it's easy. So relax. We're going to attach the stair label. Hold on, the stair label. Hold on. You're going to need stairs and a sticker. It's a nice little baggie. You're going to need stairs and several stickers possible. You're going to stick this. Oh, my lord. Yeah, you're going to have to stick it. You're going to do it well, because it's my burden. So right. I swear to fucking God. <laughs> this is for posterity. No, well, my sister and her, my <laughs> and my nephews are going to fucking play this. So okay, it's, it's like, very clear which side you put it on. This one has like a cutout. But it's, you know, that's not too bad. It's not too hard. It's just purpose. If you purposely put it upside down. I no, no. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I'll be I will be tolerant. I will be tolerant. For the first two times. <laughs> just like jump cuts, like no staircase. Yeah, right. <laughs> Decided to just not have the staircase. Yeah, right. it's, it's like a torch out. <laughs> get, get a three by five card cut to like shave it. Through. We've omitted that part of the board. <laughs> we just put like green duct tape over it and green screen on it. Like, <laughs> picture of like what the stairs of the game look like. <laughs> Oh, you have to have like ninja powers for this, man. You gotta be good. What are you talking about? Oh, you got this. What are you doing, boss? Glory, man. You're not doing all the right side, man. Should I start with the easy side? Is that what you're saying? That's how it shows it. It says start with the fat side and then it goes over. Hey, that's a pretty good. Zapatos dos reggae. Hey, I, I'm pretty proud of myself for that. It looks nice. It's too many nice. Alright, cool. Now you're gonna need to do that though, 32 <laughs> more times. Yep. Does this get what? one of these little clippy doos here? Um, well, it says to snap fit it in. So, okay. hold on, let me go to page one. Steers go meow. Meow. Okay, yeah, we're right. And right. the back is gonna go here. Oh, it snaps in there. So that should, yeah, right? It snaps in with this clip? Yeah, I don't think you did it on the right side, man. No, man. It's got the, it's got the, oh, well, then, yeah, you're good. Yeah, so that. Bam goes that. So the back of it is gonna it touch this. Yeah. The same thing yeah, it's there. gonna it's gonna touch this wall. Okay. That's the end of it. And then you're gonna. It do it. but it clips in for sure. Um, I don't want to force it. You can force it. Just says snap fit top A into rim B. Hold on. Oh no, sorry. You need to take. We oh wait. Hold on. I'm totally reading this. So we need another piece. We need uh. 
a push lever button system. Okay. This this guy? If you want that guy, and you need to take a sticker and put it on it before okay. you do that. Uh, what color is the sticker? It is a blue one. The blue, but I don't, the blue. It just says, yeah, yeah blue, blue square. Blue, blue yeah. Label. yeah, so blue label. And that's going to go on to the draw, the little, uh, the actual trap door section. So the little square that's on there inside of that one. Yeah. And then once you do that, you're going to pop that into a frame that looks like neon. So that's going to go into this thing. Oh, fancy. And then that thing is going to go onto the stair thing that you already stickered. Cool, cool. Right on. Uh, and that the button is, thing. yeah, perfect. Yeah, the button is facing the stairs. Excellent. And then Correct. that is going to go back and long. It just sits in there? Uh, it's just, let's see. Place stairs to the left of the fireplace on the game board. Yeah, you know, actually. Okay. Just, yeah, just doesn't there. Stab in yeah there. I think that, that's probably a little thing they fixed. You can't just go all willy nilly with any set of dice. You know? All right, so now we're gonna need the fireplace insert of the fireplace. Oh, um, that's probably this unit. Yeah, this unit. Uh, oh no, this is the um, okay. You want that, and you're gonna put that in a frame of some kind. Yes. Presumably. This is the uh, the it's called fireplace here. hooks. Don't, don't go ahead, Andy. Come on. No. That, well, see, no, that is no. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, very nice. Just listen to the opera, whatever the hell my title job is. Oh, on you put the, the wrong part on. What do you mean? Bro? This needs to go on the very top of the fireplace. Oh. You gotta put the roof on it. And then once the roof of the fireplace. You gotta tear the roof off the sucker? No, you're gonna wanna put the roof on the sucker. <laughs> You want to wrap the tattoo with Paul Rob, you know, or whatever you curious. Uh -huh. Insert, insert rubric. Oh, and then you, oh, and then you do yeah. And without doing that. Without you, doing you, that. You yeah. see what I mean? Yeah, really? okay. yeah, yeah I Are you, you down? Like, I'm down, Charlie yeah, Brown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you pooping when I'm scooping? Yeah, right. yeah, no, we're there. Now we're going to go to the portrait frame. Oh, so you yeah. already did that part. Yes, sir. Except you missed, you missed one crucial you part. Fall, oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's, so that's ahead. Next, we're going to need a rod and a beam because we're doing the chandelier. Figure it out. Well, no, I mean, I can't. I don't know what you're seeing. Yeah. We need a rubber band, Andy. Oh. <laughs> well, aren't you, this guy? Yeah. And so that. I'm keeping this bad. Oh, you're good. No, please, I keep you. Absolutely. Good. So yeah, that is going to clamp onto the, the unsecured yeah. From so, here? Yeah, hook onto the blue. Is the idea because there should be a little like lost. Oh, yeah, now you got some smooth operation out of it. And now you are secure to place in there. However, you do need another piece. Yeah, one more piece. To, I think hold it in as like a counterweight. It is that blue thing, the blue arch. This oh, blue arch. okay, so that's kind of you're going to hang it over. Yeah, yeah. With the, if, there's a, yeah, if there's a part sticking out of the back that is horizontal, that's going to get towards you. Makes sense. And let's see, this goes like that. That can't be right. No. What are you retarded? <laughs> You're oh. overthinking it, man. Aha, 13 dead on drives in less than 13 steps. Nice. Yeah. Try that out, <laughs> alcoholism. <laughs> I'll mention that to my AA group. <laughs> no, you won't. That is a joke. I don't give up. <laughs> <laughs> my AA is the queers. I was trying to do a feather touch. Does it seem right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Like 90% sure. Well, I don't know how deep they want it. It's, it's got a cup. It's just like real. No, there's a, there's a stop in there. You're against it. That's what they all say. Yeah, and yeah. then I get a fucking lawsuit. The lo these long ass stickers. The long ass and thingamajiggies. And you're going to do it from longest to the tall. You know what I mean? Yeah, we should probably edit that out. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I can pull that. Carefully. Care, 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 careful. I'm carefully. Care, careful, Andy. Care, careful, Andy. Careful. Careful, Andy. Careful. Careful, Andy. Careful. Andy. Careful, careful, Andy. Andy. Yeah. Andy. Yeah. Look at me. Now look at the camera. Now look at me again. <laughs> careful. Zoom in now. Nope. <laughs> up. Jump. Up. Yo. Nope. Yep. Don't. Nope. Don't backtrack. Don't. 
Just don't, don't know where you're you just charge ahead. Use your nails. And by nails, I mean the ones in your tool bag. <laughs> right. Oh, I see bubbles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see horrendous I see bubbles. fucking bubbles. I see many. And you know how to roll joints. How can you not roll a sticker on a very obvious shaped piece of plastic made? That's pretty good. It's not. I hate you. I've seen, I've seen worse. Yeah, well, I'm going to yeah. fucking notice that my entire yeah. life playing this game. You didn't even get it. Ever. Oh, well, dude. I think I did pretty good. At on least the you got them dangling the right way. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. For credit where credit's due, right? This oh. really is bullshit. This is for kids. Dude, this is bad. I want to see a perfect one of these. I want to see someone who has perfectly put on the stickers to a sham. Do like check eBay? There's like a bunch of lists. Right, like there's like, like, like perfectly applied stickers. Burn it. Uh, put the good side towards. No, the we don't. Andy, burn it. What burn the fuck? Dude, the chandelier's done. And as as I remember from childhood, which is a repressed memory that is now re-remembered. <laughs> Cause it's like when you're a younger kid playing this game, it's fun to play, but you like you need an adult to play right. together. I need an adult. All right, moving on. Let me drink a little bit. Intermission time. By the way, uh, I don't have a cider. Yet. <coughs> oh God, dude. Wait, what? I'm not drinking all turkey. No. Uh, Yo, what? That's not even a real wild turkey. I have, I have one on one also. I'm, I'm, I'm. I I'm know, but that makes it worse. I said a bird, bird, bird. <laughs> no, wait, no, wait, Don't. wait, Don't. wait, Don't. wait. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Burn it. Oh God! Kill it with fire. I literally heard a door open my ass. And Oh yeah, 100% have a ghost. Yeah. Fun fact: the Polish aren't actually people. They aren't actually people. They're all just part of the same trade of polishers. All right. So I'm gonna need another espresso. Guess how much espresso I've had today? You guys can play at home. Is yes. four plus another four plus another six in less than 24 hours a lot? Probably. They should have never let me have a PC, man. Like, I, I feel like they make, they do stuff like that and it's like so, like, uh, off the wall crazy. You know, it's just like they, they make it so no one will, no one will believe you kind of thing. It's all the wall crazy. That's like old slave time. In order to not pay the tariff during slave time, they did the same thing with packing barrels of salt and fish. And that's yeah. been going back. So that's an old Portuguese trick because we invented <laughs> fucking slavery, dude. <laughs> Shout out I'm not to, trying. I'm shout just saying. Shout out to the Portuguese. Yeah, line. shout out to the Portuguese. The the first people to sail, the first people to realize how to sail or or make a sail. Make a we, sail. we taught the Jews how to do what they do, boys. <laughs> the Portuguese. The Jews are just the Portuguese as henchmen. We looked at. We looked at. That's we, the real red pill. We looked at. <laughs> Alright, so one of these has got to be the bookcase, presumably. Need some Chinamen. And some scientists. Some Chinamen scientists? Whoa! That's... Okay, so now the last one is going to be the bookcase. So, so it's going to be this weird. bottom piece. Yeah, so pretty much like the other one was for the base. Got it. And then you're going to have the flat ledge one that doesn't have a switch be the, be the next part on top. Right. Purple sticker needs to go on top of the ladder square, and the red sticker. We haven't done the ladder yet either. I know, and then the red one is this. Uh, oh, plug directly so over the people. On here, you can see no, these little clips over the tip. Clip in the black CMP. clips on the board. So you always put those towards the back. Like has like Hasbro could be like just like the terminology for like someone who's a has been, like it someone is. who was a bro. You know, like a Hasbro. Like, I like that. That's like why I'm building. That's why the, uh, what's the, the Parker brother or who's the other, uh, yeah, they, Parker brothers. Yeah, the, that's why the Parker brothers ousted them. Parker brothers. Parker brothers ousted them, so he's a Hasbro. Yeah, Hasbro. Basically, three of them. Nice. Yeah, based on truth. Based, based on, on truth. Based on truth. Based on truth. So that just goes on there. 
Okay. And this part is going to go on the fireplace. It should look a little square. Ah, and then right in right front of there. Sure thing. And then all those little stand pieces are going to be situated for these, these gents and, and, and ladies. Nice. I really feel like this clips in there still. I'm not going to lie. No. Because it's like, it's blocking, no. it's, it's blocking the space out no. here, dude. Dude, check it out. Check it out on the front. Like it's, Andy! <laughs> see, and, see, okay. It was all good and symmetrical and like feng shui. Don't you shush. Just a second. Just a second. No, no, my guy is sneaky. Just a second. Don't talk to me like I'm a sneak. <laughs> First, I'm gonna put this fucking sticker on here. Oh, uh, dude, see, now we bent it. See, had we not done your clip thing, man, we wouldn't have bent it. Bent what? The bent one. Yeah. I can only see white, and I'm not saying that's a racist <laughs> term. Hey, Andy, so we're gonna need to find out who the characters are, right? Yep. How do we do that? All right. I think, we I think we tested all the traps at the same time, too. Uh, this guy's Clay, but I think he should. This guy's a. This guy should be named Chad. I think. He looks His like name's a, Clyde Chadsby. He looks like an absolute Cla Chad. Clay Chaddington. Did not see that coming. And frankly, the game. Man. Well, now that we have the mansion in the setting, I think it's we finally understand what this game is all about and how we play it. Starting with the story. Aunt Agatha has passed away without any surviving relatives. So now her fortune is up for grabs. Her 12 friends and employees are all anxiously awaiting the reading of her will. But it says only one will inherit her fabulous will. She has left her estate to her favorite person, or her cat, the one whose portrait is shown hanging on the wall. Will it be you? Will it be you? Start with Smothers the butler. Oh, look at that, for a shot. A trusted family servant, Smothers served out of his family with a sneer for more than 30 years. Now Agatha's gone, and Smothers is ready to kick up his heels. His dream is to cha-cha the knot away as he cruises all over the world. Agatha's booty is all he needs to finance his golden boogie years. <laughs> okay. What's, uh, what's, who's that? Dusty, the maid. Okay, there we bottom, go. bottom there for you. Uh, there we go. Yeah. With well, a tempting swish of a feather duster and a seductive swivel of the hips, Dusty made her mark on many a neighborhood mansion before arriving at Agatha's. With Agatha's demise, maybe Dusty swept up for the last time. She loved you dripping in pearls and diamonds, if you know what I mean. Courtesy of Agatha's <laughs> villains, of course. Fuck. I do remember if you know what I mean, but I, that's, yeah. These are, are you serious? Everything but the, if you know what I mean. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah well. Dripping in pearls. D I mean, dripping. Like, dri drip. Mm. Okay, yep. I was thinking she was looking like kind of a... Before I go any further, let's talk about Agatha really quick. Um, the late, very late Aunt Agatha, as they say. This is where the humor comes in, Andy, that you'll love. Former Mist of Mi <laughs> I'm gonna, 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 I'm So this was when, um, this is when they were doing all the cocaine. Cheers. Cheers. The late, very late on Agatha. Former Miss Tomato Pie of Louisiana and heiress to a kitty litter fortune, Aunt Agatha has finally missed has finally raised all four human paws to the sky. Scorned for her humble tomato pie start and scented fortune, she was dearly loved for her millions. At her funeral, her nearest and dearest friends and enemies gathered together, craving a scoop of that litter-filled money pie. But her will <laughs> says only one can inherit it. <laughs> The what that litter what litter filled money L pie. litter filled money now, pie. Mine. There is literally, in my opinion, a sexual innuendo. Oh, dude, every single one of these. One. Yeah. So again, tomato pie of Louisiana. Yeah, literally what? Ugh. Like champion for like fucking right. on her period or like. <laughs> Kitty litter is absorbing. <laughs> 
Charity, skilled in medicine, and the, oh, sorry, Charity, uh, the doctor. Okay. Um, the, the doctor. Um, the doctor. She kind of looks like, um... Ah, uh, yeah, she, yeah. Uh, Charity, gotcha. Skilled in medicine and the financial pages, Charity makes sure her patients' bills aren't just high, but astronomical. <laughs> she indeed only makes mansion calls. Always watchful for her patient to take a sudden turn for the worse, <laughs> Dr. Charity dreams of opening her own private health center, and Agatha's fortune lies ready and waiting. Uh, that's, I mean, possibly the worst person we've heard of thus far, but we're only, like, into number three, Just, so. <laughs> yeah. Lulu, uh, the one actually beside the doctor. Perfect. She looks like a sweet old biddy. What's going on with her? Well, her name is Lulu, and a wicked gossip of who said what where. Lulu always satisfied Agatha's quest for news of the worst kind during their cozy tea time chats. Now Lulu wants much more than a teacup's worth of Agatha's glittering gold. She needs a bundle to start dishing the dirt. A real Lulu of a tabloid. <laughs> All right. Let's go to Parker, the uh, the Asian chauffeur. With a name like Parker, could she really do anything else but drive and park a car? After five years of tr of trundling here on, <laughs> this I is just, this is hitting a personal note. <laughs> I, I kind of feel like they wanted they they were had to have an Asian character, and they felt that if they didn't make her the driver, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I think they were trying to be a little over. Anyway, <laughs> after five years of trolling gear on Agatha to her park favorite stores, Parker's ready to rev her engines. With Agatha's fortune in her trunk, wink, Parker could finally realize her dream of <laughs> racing in the Indy 500. Oh, and by the way, if you're missing the sexual hand, it was the other one. It was Lulu's teacup of gold. Mm -hmm. Golden showers, if anyone's uh, unaware what kind of water, water works. Water. Uh... I'm not sure about charity. I think she's just a downright terrible person. Yeah, right. Waiting, like, being a doctor to rich people. Waiting for them to die. Pierre, the chef. The, the one clearly with the crystal ball in front of his, her face. Pierre, the chef. Yep. This devilishly delicious gourmet chef is always a treat to behold in Madame's kitchen. Slicing, dicing, flailing, wailing. His creations are gastronomic delights. Now he's ready for the wide, wide world of television. If only he could get the cash to back his cooking show. Cooking for profit. Now where could he get that pot of gold? Clay. Handsome and powerful. Now he's the tennis instructor. Yeah, the Chad. Ugh. Clay, handsome and powerful. Clay is a handful both on and off the court. Before it's a teacher other than play the circuit, he's had a prance around Agatha's court for the last six years, watching his promised world tennis fan <laughs> slip away. Now he's leaping at the chance to try again and increase his net worth with Agatha's millions. By the way, each one of these ends with an exclamation point, so I should be yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Astra, the fortune teller. Only the crystal ball will tell all, I guess is her quote. Found in the five and dime, Astra's ball only said 40 cents of the high point of its life on the store shelf. <laughs> but now it could be worth millions if she's played her cards right, wink. These past three oh years, and I'm not his personal fortune teller. Will Agatha's millions now be Astra's fortune, or future? Sorry. Only time will tell. Again, this, the, the similar things, these are people who are literally just like, all the same. Hey, you're rich. My job doesn't pay as much as yours, but I'm gonna hope you die so I can like get get your money. Yeah. Uh, that sweet old uh, you know white dude with the with the corn cob pipe. His name's Hickory. Good old, old Hickory. Hickory. Good old Hickory. Oh, well, he's he's he extraordinaire, and boy did he tend some gardens. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well have said that. Agatha's Gardener Extraordinaire is known the world over for his award-winning roses. Mm. His secret's the fertilizer. He enjoys deflowering, if you if you catch my Right, mind. and again, his secret's the fertilizer. So I just fully mm. further supports it. 
Condoms can't keep this man at bed. Can't tell you how many times I've used kitty litter he's buried on the property over the years. Again, again, I kind of think that's like butt play with Agatha. <laughs> but how much kitty litter? Kid, how much kitty litter? He's buried. Yeah, yeah. Now his dream of his own horticultural theme park, which Horror. I guess is a thing. Wild Hickory might come true with Agatha's, and then it cuts out. I'm gonna assume it said millions. I think, okay. I think it's. I want to say it's Agatha's millions. I mean, they use it like several times. Ah, okay, okay. Agatha's money or fortune. Cool. Beauregard the third, the uh, the 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 money dude who has candies, the boyfriend. I guess. With the uh, the heart tie. At your service, ma'am, is Beau's favorite saying. As he romances older, wealthy widows with candy and compliments, he worms, wink, his way into their affections and through their fortunes. He's like Michael Caine in uh, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Rather a shabby trick, isn't it? <laughs> He's known for dusting off the funeral bouquets and giving them to his new old lovers. Again, that's... The <laughs> new old lovers. Isn't that just comedy? Sorry, isn't that pretty fucked up? You've seen Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, right? Yes. Yes, I'm afraid I am a bit naive. I'm just saying, yeah. taking, taking, you know, taking flowers from him. Probably, Those aren't necessarily like old women, you know, but they're like, they, uh, he doesn't care. It's all about, it's probably, all just about the... Probably his base. This character probably is based off that. Right. Um, anyway, yeah, without his millions, he could finally retire and stop, I guess. He's, yeah. I guess he's, he's just, he just likes to, he likes to bang old ladies and he wants money. I guess that's his thing. All right, we got two left and that's Spritzy. The kitty? No, Spritzy would be the hairstylist. Uh, again, <laughs> okay. again, clever, clever name. But um, I don't she think looks, anyone, she I looks, don't, she looks pretty edgy. I don't think anyone actually names their kid Spritzy. Yeah, well, it's like well, it's a pet name, right? So I was. <laughs> oh well, yeah. <laughs> I was I was justified so for thinking that was the kid. So chick and so chic. so chick and so stylish. C H I C Andy. It's chick, like Chick Fil A. Andy, all coral. I don't even know what the hell it is. We have any French people in the chat help us out with that one. Exhale cigarette smoke in a side demeanor, and then you'll speak perfect for it. Anyway, um, she wants cash. Um, and she doesn't want to be a stylist, which I don't really understand. Is that what it says? Well, it's so chic and so stylish, just never know which side of her head is the most all calm. Born with the desire to sniff and calm, only she can create Agatha's power of poof. I guess their hair. Okay. With lots of spray and starch. Where do you just take on the world of high fashion? It's pretty much cold hard cash to run through her feet. It says ingers. I think they want to say fingers. You got a couple typos on here. Yeah, like. instead of shellacked hair. Nope. I mean, so be it. she looks very nice. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She looks pretty edgy, right? You know? She's an edgy... Yeah, she's probably a cunt. Well... Anyway, Poopsie is the last, and it's also my personal favorite, the cat. The Poopsie. Just because it's a fucking cat can make money, and it looks pissed off. Decked out in diamonds and stuff with the world's best caviar, Poopsie is a feline terror. Many a friend and foe of one Agatha has had to get first aid over the years due to this claw happy kitty. And mommy's this claw happy fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah, as mommy's favorite girl, however, she may be the perfect one to inherit mommy's gold. Me ow. We can like totally like uh, we can trash that much worth of stuff making videos every month and then still be above water. <laughs> oh dude, we have meat cooking. Where's that at? Alright, now we actually need to learn how to play this and play it. See, okay, why do I do tri-tip every time, man? I'm not even gonna be able to fucking eat it. Well, I mean, well, don't bring it over frozen, I guess, then we can barbecue. It's on high, I mean, that's the best we can do. Well, so am I, but <laughs> speaking of which. <laughs> oh, it says, each player rolls the dice, and the player with the highest roll goes first. Play it and continues to the left. First, remove Aunt Agatha's portrait card from the frame and place it face down on the game board's large sofa. Because that's apparently where she's about to die, I guess. So, Aunt Agatha's portrait card. Where where be that? All over again. Oh. 
So we put Aunt Agatha face down on the sofa. It's kind of kind of macabre. Oh, because yeah. she's dead. She's dead. I remember that. The card that is shown underneath Aunt Agatha is the current favorite to inherit her fortune. Let me show you another shot. It no. says each player rolls the dice and the player with the highest roll goes first. First remove Aunt Agatha's portrait card from the frame. So wait a second. Shuffle the 12 character cards and deal them out face down according to the number of players. Yeah. Detective cards. Shuffle all of them Fire together. Cards. Place them face down in a pile on and the game. And then the individual. Yeah. So, so we'll shuffle those up. So it's the And then uh, the person directly behind would be the uh, would be the person who's the next in line to inherit it, and that's like the start of the game. And of course, it's the it's the bitchy doctor. All right, yeah. So charity would be the one. So charity has like the advantage or whatever. Right. Yeah. Character cards. Shuffle the twelve character cards, which I'm assuming are the dead end draw of trademark ones. Shuffle those and deal them out face down according to the numbers of players. So there's a chart. Players can look at their cards and must keep them secret from each other. Right on. So if we're playing with two people, we each get four cards plus two secret character cards. Yeah, and we'll run those two, more rules to that later. Four, one, two, three, four. And then place and two someplace and we'll get back. Uh, two each, right? Uh, I think yes, so, because that's, yeah. that is what it says. So, so um, just, I don't know, uh, where do you have our deck separate? We'll go, side, we'll yeah. put one, one here and one there. It doesn't really matter which is which, you know, we just know that one piles for one person, one piles for the Let's other. See. And my four are over here, your four can be over here. It's so fucking hot. I know, dude, it is, it is it's sticky. <laughs> Fuck, that was unfortunate. I actually could have turned out a lot worse. Wrong. Oh, I just spilled. Uh, but it like all landed literally right in this Gatorade box. <laughs> Thanks, Gatorade. Thanks, Gatorade. That's uh, pretty cool. No hey, look! Gonna... Cardboard! Save the cardboard! Each player rolls the dice, and that's about it. No. <laughs> and the player with the highest roll goes first, so that's how we decide who goes first. Right. Uh, then goes from left, which, uh, that can't be right. First, remove on Agatha's portrait card from the frame and place it face down on the game board's large sofa. Dark. The card that is shown underneath on Agatha is the current favorite, which we've already established. That pawn, and so the, the cards that we have in our hands are going to be pawns. So it's like those are our playable pieces, I guess, is what they're trying to say. Must try to get out the front door without being knocked off or killed, is I guess what they're trying to say. So with one of our four pieces? Yeah, so basically, if uh, let's say that you Charity is the person on the board right now. Right. You have Charity in your hand. You are now trying to move Charity towards the door. And initially, if I don't have Charity, I would try to get her as far away from the, 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 the door as possible. All right. Just yell, cut. You're a director now. You're going to be big. You're going to go far, kid. I don't want anybody else. Roll both dice and move two different pawns, one for each die. So this is where it gets interesting, Andy. Yeah. One for each die. You're better. Yeah. Okay, so you move, you roll both, you get to move two people, you know, depending Whatever on number of spaces. You, move, you may move any pawns on the game board, not just your own. Keep the pawns your own secret so you can try to escape easily when your pawn's portrait is shown in the frame. Try to move opponent's pawns into trap spaces to eliminate them. Each pawn must always move the full count of a die roll. Okay, so you, so you can't do two count. if you have three or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. For example, if you roll a four and a six, move one pawn four spaces and another pawn six spaces. Mm-hmm. However, you don't have to like determine, like meaning like if you roll the first one, that just because you rolled like, the first you know what I mean? Like your character that you chose, you know, it's like you're not... You get to choose which dice roll, which you move sure. you And you can decide that after the dice roll. Right. You know what I mean? You're not, yeah. You're not, you don't, you one die isn't dedicated to one character. Exactly. Yeah. Each space on game board square is one count of a die square. Okay. Pawns can move vertically or horizontally, but not diagonally. Yeah. Seems logical. Right. All pawns must be moved off the red chair's starting spaces before any pawn 
can be moved either a second time or onto a trap space. Okay. Very good. So they're gonna, yeah, so they have to get off the chair or they can just be directly. You know, we'll find out. Something terrible. <laughs> A pawn cannot lawn on or pass through the same space twice during the same move. Okay. Including the same space from which it began its move. Uh, first one from the bottom or first one from the from top? The top. Yeah, How do you read? How do you Japanese, read? In Japanese the wrong way? Like, what the fuck? That's a legal move before. Yes, like you have to go down to the left. Okay, and then move up to the next one, and that would be... An illegal move before. Right. If you, you can't like double. Yeah, back. you can't just go back to the yeah, space. Or exactly. Right. All right, that's where we're at. And you can just do a slow pan if you all you have it up there. Editing later. We can always edit it out. Right. Pawns cannot land on or pass through a space occupied by another pawn or any fixture or any furniture pictured on the game board, such as tables, sofas, chairs, vases, or vases. A desk, a gold statue, or an easel. Okay, that's pretty obvious what those are. Yeah, so just pretty much anything that's border that isn't a clear space, that's yeah. not a carpet. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Pawns may move on tops of rugs. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I accidentally just did not read that ahead. Yeah. I'm not trying to be a dick or anything, but yeah. they, they do emphasize that on the next one. So that's kind of it made, funny. Well, I mean, it's kind of funny. I'm sure like little kids are like, well, that's a carpet. Yeah, that's, that's a carpet. That's yeah, that's, that's a thing. Yeah. It's a wall. It's so a, you just go in this room, you're just completely it's fucked. A 15, like. <laughs> it's a 15 story building, it's layers, yeah. it's from a top view, you don't know how many, it's like a mountain. Pawns can't pass through any walls on the game board. Unless they're ghosts. See picture 8. Spooky ghosts! <laughs> uh, where are we at? Alright, alright, alright. Rolling doubles! If you roll doubles, do the following. You may change the portrait. Move the portrait card currently shown to the back of the deck in the frame and reveal the new card underneath. If you don't want to change the portrait, you don't have to. It is an option. Yeah. And this is an actually do like have a week they have anything. So you get to do that, either choose to do that and move the portrait or not. But you can also with that either move one pawn on the total amount of both dice, or move two pawns, one pawn for each dice. So if you were to roll doubles, you move two people equal spaces, plus change the portrait. Right. Or... You can put them all on one. Yes, sir. Okay. So you get to do both. You, cool. get, to, you get to decide, and also move portrait, nice, or not, nice. or not. So that is that is an extra rule. This is, this is why the game is interesting. How your turn ends. Your turn is over after, your, after you move a pawn or pawns. If you move onto a trap space, your turn is over after you try to play a trap card and spring the trap. Okay. Be sure to finish the moving. No, how do, how do you how do you say that? Be sure to finish the moving. Okay. Comma. Card playing and trap springing actions for one pawn before you move another pawn. Okay, got it. Oh, so basically, make sure that you do one one move yeah, for a character. Yeah, you, you do all the actions. So there's not. Like, no, it doesn't say you have to. It just says you should. They recommend it. And Fuck it, burn it off. What did I do with my like, fucking power bank? Power bank. Yeah. What well, that was a power bank? Like, I mean, like a battery? Yeah, battery. Just say fucking battery. Well, it's a power bank. Bro. It's a fucking battery. It's a rechargeable battery that you use to power shit. Just say rechargeable battery. Dude, fucking that makes power. you sound like a fucking fag. Oh, you mean a power bank? You mean where a bunch of people lift weights down to the beach near a river? <laughs> oh, no, you mean making a really hard right turn. Where's the lid for that shit? I don't know. I've lost everything. I blame, I blame the alcohol. Ugh. What do you call what? Magnetic glass. Magnetic glass. I don't know if there is such a thing. But, by the way, this video is sponsored to you by the book a child called it. <laughs>